Hi, I'm Will from Sensestat. In this video, I'm going to present our product sales analysis solution for retailers built in Microsoft Power BI. The solution provides retail and product managers complete visibility on sales performance from every possible angle. It's automated to always show the latest available data so end users can make quicker, more precise decisions. Now the data we're looking at is from the European operations of a global retailer of electronic devices. The first tab gives a high level view of your sales metrics and a breakdown of that performance across the different product dimensions. So at the very top we can see the KPI cards for sales, margin, units sold and sales per unit. Now these are colored according to the versus prior year comparison. So red for a negative change and green for a positive change. By default, these numbers are near to date, and this can be changed to a specific quarter or a month using the filters on the right. The top left line chart is a year to date trend of sales with a three month forecast using Power BI's built in forecasting engine. The bar chart on the right shows you this year's sales and the previous year's sales by product category. Now you can see the significant increase in sales for computers but that was offset by a decrease in sales for a few of the other main categories here. In the bottom left, we can see the breakdown of sales by product class here and by product brand. And you can filter the overview using these visuals. Finally, in the bottom right table, we can see the breakdown of sales by product subcategory, the percentage of sales mix that they each represent, their versus prior year comparison of sales, and the margin percentage. We can quickly identify that most product categories are in the red and contributing to this lower year-to-date sales. Now these are product subcategories that you're likely to focus on in the analysis phase, which happens in the second tab of the dashboard. In the analysis tab, you can use the bar chart to look at sales and the sales versus prior year, as indicated by the color, for product class, product category, and product brand. The detailed numbers appear when you hover over each bar. And if you activate the drill down in the top right corner, the rest of the dashboard will filter as you drill down. Let's select the regular class of products, the largest in terms of sales mix, and that has a drop of 12% in versus prior year sales. The line chart on the right shows you the trend in sales this year compared to the trend in sales last year. And the table below is where you're going to be able to analyze how the change in sales is reflected in quantity sold and sales per units and see the change in margin. You can expand the table to see the product subcategories under the categories. The conditional formatting allows you to quickly spot large negative values or positive ones. But you can also rank the table by any of the given columns. So for example, we could analyze the subcategories with the versus prior year in Euro measure. Doing this shows us that cameras and camcorders is the product category with the largest drop in sales in Euro amounts. Within that category, Camcorders are the subcategory with the largest drop in sales. And we can see that that's reflected in a very large reduction in the quantity sold with the fairly stable sales per unit. What can you do to address this? And this is when the next phase of the dashboard comes in. By right clicking on camcorders, I can use the drill through feature in Power BI to move to my next tab, which is the category card, and it's going to be automatically filtered to the camcorders and we can see this in the dynamic title, Camcorder Subcategory Card for Europe. This card now gives you a window into the Camcorder Subcategory performance, with again, a sales trend and a three month forecast, the breakdown of sales by country, colored by sales versus prior year, and the ability to drill down to the store level. The table below is very similar to the one in the analysis tab where we identified camcorders, only this time at the product level. So you can get the worst performing SKUs by ranking this table in versus prior year in euros and drill down to see how those individual product sales translate at the store level. So in just a few clicks, you've narrowed down to an underperforming subcategory to specific products in this subcategory and you're able to locate the stores that haven't sold this item. The final step is for you to take action by directly contacting the category manager using the details displayed on the dashboard. You will have all the information you need to ask them detailed questions about the strategy going forward. The Power BI platform also gives you powerful capabilities for self-service. With natural language queries, you can build visualizations from plain English. Using the Ask a Question feature, we can input a plain English query, such as sales value by month of the year, 
in 2013 and format this as a line chart. And where we can see a noticeable drop here, for example, from September to October, we can right click and the analyze function draws on Power BI's built-in machine learning capabilities to list possible answers to this drop. Now we have a few options to choose from, and we can see that the first one tells us that European back-to-school promotion accounted for the majority of the decrease, and that this offset the increase of European holiday promotion sales. And you can then pin this visualization to the dashboard. This allows you to not only see what is happening in your data, but also why it's happened. With our Power BI product sales analysis dashboard, retail managers get clarity on their product sales performance across product types and all the way down to the SKU level in a specific store, all using a powerful off-the-shelf technology tailored to their business needs. Thank you for watching.